Hey all, Steve Cyros. Um, I'm gonna hope that this camera does this justice. Uh, we are on the northwest corner of our phase three uh, expansion project, specifically the northwest corner of claim one, Midnight Owl 177. And uh, we've stumbled across just a massive outcropping here. Um, actually, there's, there's a few things we've stumbled across. I'm gonna kind of take you on a walk with me. So bear, bear with me here. So on a trip on camera. Um, this looks like, I don't know if you can see this. Let me get up a little further. So what you've got here, it's kind of like a homemade pipe and pump and uh, I don't know, is that a water trough? I'm um, assuming there's a well in the area. Look at that, it's dripping. It's dripping water, it's not full. This thing's old. Um, I, in fact, I can see holes in it, so it would not hold water, but it's interesting that it runs up that hill. That hill is of significance because I don't know if you can see this, but um, we've stumbled across just a massive um, exposed outcrop of basically lithium burying material. Uh, we know it's lithium because we've measured for extremely high potassium and uh, that's typically an indication that you've got spodumene, which is what you're uh, known to produce in this area. And um, that spodumene is lithium bearing uh, historically in this area. So here's an up close and personal. This is where you can see the um, past monsoon season has just opened this up for us. Otherwise, it, it, we may have missed it. Um, and this is why it's interesting. The, I don't know if you can see some of these little crystals, some of these bugs. This in the, the other side of our claims on the original phase one, if you remember over by the, ironically, the water source on that side, uh, you had these very high uh, readings, uh, up to eight eight plus percent lithium on the uh, libs, um, and ironically, it was in this same type of material. You had these bugs, these uh, crystal-looking inclusions that uh, just tested out to be extremely high um, in lithium concentrations, and you've got that running up that entire hill sign, hillside. Sorry, so. On this, let me show you the the corner. See, here's the here's the trough. I, I imagine they've brought in this plastic one more recently, obviously, because that old metal one on the other side of this little thicket was um, just leaking water. So I'm not really sure what's going on, where that water is coming from, but we're going to explore. I mean, another water source on this side of the claims on the again the phase three expansion would absolutely be huge never mind uh, the discovery of a massive outcropping like this showing lithium there's your uh, corner marker i don't know if you can read that 177 midnight owl let me see if i can get you closer you probably can't see the northwest corner uh, bear with me there you go Maybe not. There's a shot of it. So that's the northwest corner of 177. So this is squarely on our claims. And uh, it just runs as far as the eye can see up there and down that canyon. So really cool discovery here. I'll spend a few hours mapping this out. We'll see the extent of this, but uh, it's pretty it's pretty damn big. That's a good sign, especially with the water here. So I'll keep you posted. On the water source and the um, massive outcropping we found. Um, a little shot of clearly what um, is the uh, pegmatites that this area is known for. We've got the uh, classic uh, black tourmaline mixed in. I don't know if you can see that on this camera. My uh, camera is so hot that it's starting to uh, go south on me. It's probably. Hey all, Steve Cyros. Uh, just a quick follow-up on this um, this water source here. Uh, my camera is probably going to die on me. That does not like this heat. We're at a uh, 114 and counting. Uh, anyway, we tried to trace this into uh, or up the hillside, and it goes into the rock and stops. So 
pretty sure that uh, we're looking at um, uh, spring and it is uh, wet, it is running. Um, that gives me year round hopes and uh, I think what this probably was at one point was a uh, cattle watering station. Uh, plenty of plenty of signs of cattle in the area so they must still use it to this day you saw that uh, plastic trough on the other side uh, this original uh, that's probably from the 40s and the 50s um, that trough was probably set up by a local rancher and I'm gonna guess uh, they've since replaced it with the uh, plastic one um, but it is still dripping water so um, not much sure why this did not show uh, on the um, on the maps of the spring, but this might have just been a closely guarded secret, uh, which was not that uncommon. Uh, uh, ranchers were not real fond of pointing it out, but there you see, um, they even had a faucet. Let me get zoomed in here. They even had a faucet uh, plumbed in there so they could turn it on and fill it up, and um, um, cattle know where to come for water. There's plenty of signs that. Uh, uh, they frequent the area so uh, that's that's a water source i'm going to call that a win i mean a major win uh, couple that with uh, the fact that we're sitting on just some incredible ground for lithium that's uh that's a double win